is Holly. This is Julie. And they are both workers here at Old Church Bakery. This video is the beginning of a series called Bread Talk that will hopefully be continued. In this series, Holly and Julie will discuss bread and life and probably have a really good time. I asked Julie what kind of abilities the bakers at Old Church Bakery had to have and uh, some things they had to do to remain successful and happy here at Old Church Bakery. Baking is its own thing entirely because I feel like it takes a lifetime. I'll never be, I'll, I might be one day like an amazing baker, but I'll never be able to ever know everything about baking. This sounds cheesy, but yeah, pick yourself up when, uh, when you fail because you're gonna fail so often. Full fat milk. Cream and real butter and nice eggs from Nature's Pasta. Now we don't allow any margarine in the bakery. It has to be fermented for at least two days. Okay. Now everything I would say in this bakery is all made very fresh. You get good muscle from uh, kneading bread. And like just when you're whipping those eggs, I was like, whoa. Like, whoa Hold the phone, I, I'm, whoa. Like. Yeah, you don't want to mess with me. I asked Holly and Julie how the bakery has affected them in other aspects of life. That it's the simple, everyday moments that I want yeah. to remember. It's with the people that you meet. Yeah. And little things like when our regular customers come in and we... That's exactly what I was going to say. The last couple of years I've gone through, an, I would say like an exceptionally difficult time in my life. That I, I kind of hope that it's like the most hard years of my life. Um, and this bakery saved my life. That's for real. Oh, no, it did. If I didn't have this bakery, I don't know where I'd be. Probably out in the bush rotting somewhere. I asked Holly and Julie um, which customers the bakery had the biggest impact on. It draws in women that need something in their life. Especially women that maybe feel like they don't have very much, like maybe they have a kid and need to get out of the house more, or they're just going through a hard time. It's nice to, I don't know, I feel like this is like a welcoming, warm place. Huh. Yes, we've talked about that. Yeah. Like many of you are, um, I was curious as to what Holly and Julie's favorite breads from their own bakery were. In the mornings, I like pecan raisin toasted. But I'm like Julie, I like that whole wheat sourdough. And any of the new sourdoughs that they try. This is probably one of the most popular breads. Rosemary garlic. Watching Holly and Julie in action, if you will, uh, you could tell how close they are and how much they appreciate each other. Holly is totally the heart and soul behind the place because she's just totally selfless and she's not looking to make anything from the place except for just good times. I take that back a little bit. That sourdough really is the soul of the bakery. If we didn't have that, everything would die. That's Ooh. right. And then my soul would die. Holly, you look like a, a sexy truck driver. You do! Doesn't she? I always she? wanted to be a sexy truck driver. Oh, we won't even get into my abs. Oh, that's... oh. <laughs> that's, just, that's a whole nother video, really. But, and... I'm serious. <laughs> Old church bakery. <laughs>